Welcome everybody to 500 days of Minecraft Hardcore Survival. If you guys are new to this series, basically the whole goal of the world is just for me to continue to build really OP auto farms, just really crazy builds in general, and really just test the boundaries of Minecraft while having some fun. If you guys are new here, I definitely recommend checking out the playlist. I'll have a link down below of all the videos in this series. But in this 100 days, I'm going to continue to build some really awesome farms, which you guys actually recommended and suggested on some of the comments in the last video, and also start on a really a really giant project that is definitely going to take a long time to finish so if you guys do go on to enjoy this video please make sure you smash that like button to let me know that you guys want to see some more of this world hit subscribe if you guys have not already join that paul gg army baby and let's get into the video all right and here we go on day 401 it's officially here here we go Whew. i've been using an efficiency four pickaxe for a while and you guys have been flaming me so here i'm gonna real quick attempt to get efficiency on a book or can't remember if I need two books to make a five to then add on to it and then and then I'm gonna name it there you go comment section like and sub sub ah oh, okay there it is beautiful well, one of the main reasons I actually wanted to get efficiency five to begin with though is because the fact that I want to expand the uh, storage system now what I want to do is add a hallway over here and another hallway over here but I'm I think I'm gonna start over here first and then I'm basically gonna shape out this room all over again all right and that actually ended up being a lot more mining than i thought however yes you guys are correct yeah the uh the insta mine is uh much faster yeah all right look i give you guys credit you you help me out <laughs> But now I'm going to start shaping out the other hallways where I'm going to have all the other loot that will then already get organized. So now I'm going to dig out some really big tunnels. All right, now we have not one tunnel, but we have two tunnels in this. This, uh, yeah, it still took a long time, even, even with the efficiency vibe, but it definitely helped. So now it is time to begin setting up the auto sorter. But for that, I'm going to need some big boy trees, which that tree looks like it has diseases. And for that, I'm going to chop it down. All right, there we go. All these Titan trees are chopped down. All right, now we're primed and ready. I got plenty of wood to be able to craft a bajillions of chests and then all i gotta do is place down all the chests all the way through this thing all right now the chests are now officially set up now all i need to do is the redstone portion of this you guys have seen me build plenty of uh, auto sorters in the past like i said i'll have a link down below it's fairly simple it has been some time but i have officially and finally finished setting up all the redstone and digging out the walls and everything this side was so time consuming because this is actually right underneath the river uh and then actually right over here is like my bamboo farm and the staircase down to my mines which i realized i might just add make this my mines like make a staircase down right here that could look pretty sick it's all set up now i'm just gonna go through the process of probably just doing some quick decorations and stuff and for that i'm just gonna have to place down some stairs there we go now we're starting to look crispy and the last thing that i want to do is try to hide these hoppers and then I also need to redo this entire hopper system because I have it set up so that anytime I put anything into this chest or these hoppers, it goes all the way through the auto sorter. But now I need to kind of redirect it to the right and then start right here since it needs to loop all the way through every single hopper to find where it needs to be. So real quick, I'm just going to start getting rid of some of these to be able to redirect it. And it'll clear up some space so that then I can start working on some design. Actually, what I am going to do is probably separate all these. Like I'll have one entire hallway like this entire hallway would be like stone you know but this already looks really sick i'm actually super happy with the way that this turned out all right and i've also noticed a couple of comments okay that you guys are saying that i got a really good looking bait no i'm just kidding you guys say that my base looks kind of ugly with like the pathways and stuff like that you say i got great builds but it looks ugly so i'm gonna start working on actually designing it up and stuff like that like adding some like pathways it'll make it look scrumptious i would say kind of like slab staggered all over the place hey, wait a second wait a second what is that hello why is did all my bees actually get out why is there a missing dirt right here did an enderman grab that can an enderman reach this high i'm actually so upset right now what the heck happened hold on let me put a piece of dirt there just in case that the bees aren't gone i'm sitting here just trying to work on my pathway but apparently my bees were stolen from me oh i'm stupid yeah literally the the dirt block is literally right here so it must have been an enderman that actually took it and uh and then he then he set it down what a guy this is also gonna be a problem now that i realize it this is full this hopper is full this chest is full and there's still i might let the chickens out or i might cook them <sighs> let me just uh <clears throat> all right now i officially have all the pathways all set up kind of connecting to each of my farms i got a little bit more room to create other farms and stuff like that too uh but now i need to also build up basically the walls that'll go around the entire
entire thing. Just kind of add a little bit of flavor on top, you know, make it a little bit of a spicy pathway. All right. And officially I'm done with the pathway. It looks pretty sick. This looks actually very cool. I'm not going to lie. Kind of vibe with it. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys like the pathway before I continue to actually expand the base. Um, I did not attach this yet because this is probably the direction that I'll probably be expanding the base a lot more. All right. Now it's officially time to actually add everything that I need to the auto sorter. Basically make it look like this, but on all the hallways. This is going to take a very long time to do all this. All I need to do is add an item frame to literally every single row of chests. So here, I'm going to name this stack. Keep it consistent. Another one and dookie. And I need to add that to literally every single one of these hoppers. Okay, and now that I have all that set up, now I can officially start putting everything in its place. I have an idea of tying in my outside farms to this thing, so it'll automatically go into the auto sorter. Like I can have bamboo over here and the bamboo farms over here. So I could just have it run into this system and then boop right in here. All right, I gotta be honest. I've been doing this for a long time now, reorganizing, grabbing more items, flying around, getting more stuff to be able to add to this. Still missing some items here and I don't really know what to put here. We're getting to the point where I don't have enough items to be able to actually store basically. So I'm gonna continue to just keep adding to it, I guess somehow, some way, I don't know. Uh, okay, Whew. it has been some time, but now it's officially done. I have every single chest filled and I have a lot of filler items to just at least be able to make the system useful. Luckily, all the colored wool came in clutch because of that. And now I need to actually put it to the test. So like the last stack ends in a 20, I'm gonna take this one potato, I'm gonna throw it into this chest. We'll turn back into a 21 right here. Just gotta wait. But if it doesn't, then that means that we have a, uh, a flaw in the system and a uh, chest that is not assigned. There's a flaw in the system, boys, and I don't know where it is. I found the missing potato. It turns out that I'm miss missing filter items in this uh, honeycomb one. So here, aha, there we go. We got a 21 now, baby. So now this entire thing actually works for all the items that are assigned, that is. So now any items that are not in the auto sorter now are going to go into the basically the trash can. Netherite ingot. Now let's see if the, <laughs> the netherite ingot goes in the trash can it's gonna take some time we'll see if it goes in all right never mind realize i had another flaw in the system i put the hoppers on the wrong line this is my last test and i'm done with the auto sorter this thing is giving me the biggest headaches aha there we go we finally got it all right now this uh arc of paul's home improvements is done it's officially time to go start working on the potato farm because every 100 days we add a layer to this thing we throw all these in the auto sorter and let's begin expansion i'm just gonna start doing my own transition sounds all right now that we got this top layer all set up drop some water in there all right now that we got everything all built up the only real thing i need to do is just basically get a villager all the way up here okay now where my village is at what is this this is a hole where what i don't know how long this hole's been here but i gotta plug it out because i've probably been losing villagers in it well i mean i guess either way i'm just gonna need to get a ton of potatoes and then uh, have my villagers start breeding up some more champions there we go guys come on now get to work I guess instead, while waiting for some villagers to even spawn, I'm going to buy another amending book. What's happening? Hold on. Why are I'm so confusion? What has happened to my villagers? Did I lose villagers in the middle of the night or something like that? Was, there must have been like a zombie raid or something, right? It caused me to lose all of my villagers. I guess I just I need more more protection. That's just a little more tough than uh, what we got currently. All I wanted to do was get a mending book to put on my silk touch pickaxe since it's almost broken, but I can't even buy one now. I guess I have absolutely no other choice now, but to uh reset some trades and try to get mending all over again you're the chosen one and we're gonna do this together finally after all day i finally get the mending book and i can lock in that trade so now i can actually add that to my pickaxe it's time to go ahead up to the uh the old xp farm and heal my tools besides my levels are looking a little bit low and i'm not too happy about it i'm trying to always have some high levels because although this one's really op it's also really loud all right and there's level 100 so we're chilling it's time to leave. Hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, 420. <laughs> nice. <laughs> But also we got all of our leveling out of the way. So now it's time to begin on some more projects. What I'm thinking about doing is a bit of a risky one. I'm thinking about starting a zoo and uh, which doesn't sound risky at all. But hold on, hold on to your 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 seats. All right, because real quick, I want to get some fireworks. Actually, hold on. <laughs> I've built a zoo in the past in my OG hardcore world, which a lot of people are still asking about. And honestly, it's just on hiatus. That's all it really is. For making this zoo, I anticipate getting some of the craziest mobs in Minecraft. To start, I'm going to start with the Ravager and getting it is 
is not going to be easy at all. So I'm going to get his little cage prepped and ready before I even go try to get him. And then I think we'll build a house around him. I think that's probably the best case scenario. But in the meantime, guys, comment down below what mob that you guys want to see inside the zoo. We'll continue to add on every 100 days. I mean, maybe, possibly, or you guys just give me a giant list and then I can just go literally fetch every single aminal on the list. Now, as far as getting the Ravager, though, I'm going to have to start a raid. So I'm going to need to get a bad omen real quick. Head over to the raid farm and then pretty much just keep doing all the waves until Ravager starts spawning. So now we just play the waiting game. I got my first Ravager spawning. So now all I got to do is take care of all these other lame boys. Try to get this Ravager's aggro real quick. Honestly, I don't even need to finish the wave. I just need the uh, the Ravager to follow me. Oh my God, I hear him stomping it out over there. And West Side stomping. Pump it out, bro. I have to get this guy to follow me all the way home. And then uh, maybe I'll come back and finish the raid. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Oh, great. I forgot he's fat and slow in the water. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Okay, we're officially home. All I got to do is get him up in his little cage. Not too quick. <laughs> Did he go in? No, he didn't. <laughs> so scary because he hits like a truck i gotta be careful i gotta time this better next time i gotta try to get him down in here let's uh let him jump there it is now he's in it he's in it now he's stuck i'm gonna real quick grab a name tag for him and we're gonna go ahead and name him Pooh brain oh look at Pooh brain over there looking all cute looking like he got absolutely defeated there we go beautiful <laughs> got his name tag on him now officially got Pooh brain on him and so now i can actually build up the actual zoo i i don't really have too much of a vision all i really wanted like it says just for him to be kind of like the the centerpiece you walk right in boom and then yeah i don't really have much of a vision for this other than the fact that i do kind of want it to be round and i do also want it to be very clear probably a lot of windows maybe oh yeah no i'm pretty i'm, I'm vibing with this this is kind of a this is kind of sick this thing's either gonna look really good or really bad i don't know we'll see how it goes okay i'll be honest my biggest weakness is uh is roofs and, it, and it's kind of showing all right before i I show you guys the finished product i just want to put a disclaimer on this um i am not a uh, builder i'm not a professional builder um this is the build currently all right it, it's kind of eh, you know it doesn't look bad it doesn't you know it's something let's go on the inside the inside feels like good vibes this is cool on the inside and you know that's kind of what I, this is what i was picturing big open windows lots of light and stuff like that we got some different uh little play pins i'll probably chop these in half so we could add more stuff along with uh with poo brain oh god no okay we're just gonna leave all right next thing on the agenda and that's building a blaze farm because the fact that i'm tired of having to get coal and all that crap whenever i want to smelt stuff down so now i'm gonna go spend some time flying around in the nether trying to find the crisp blaze spawner all right and after wasting an insane amount of time just flying around uh and i just forgot the fact that yeah no my my world has the worst amount of fortresses i i can never find a fortress so i'm gonna kind of have to go with this blaze spawner because I, in reality i have absolutely no other choice since i can't even find another fortress and then all i really got to do is basically just hollow out this entire area which is going to take a ton of time but with the power of movie magic all right and i've pretty much mined out the entire area that I'm going to be using for this. My goal was to pretty much just chisel out a giant hole in the wall, basically, and it worked. I am going to have to head home for a second to be able to go get a couple things. Okay. I want to make some white dye, and then I want to make some white glass. There we go. Basically, just want to kind of encapsulate the whole thing with some stone brick and some white glass, just because I think it'll look pretty crispy. So let's just fill all this in with glass. Oh, Okay, and then now all I really need to do is get rid of the glowstone so then it'll start spawning more blazes. And then come scoop up some lava real quick. And then quickly hop up in here and break all this glowstone. Place some lava. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so scary. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, relax, firing squad. I can't really fight you guys that well because I'm in lava everywhere. And then I dump lava and I dump lava and then we jump in the hole and then we run away. We hope that lava doesn't come through this hole if i did things right i clearly didn't do things right so here we go here's a little quick problem solverino all i gotta do is break this add a lava bucket right there 
and then it should close that gap perfectly now yeah there's a lot of blazes now <laughs> so let's craft up some chests real quick so yeah let's set these up just like this same thing right here and then of course can't forget the hoppers going in there set those up and i believe that i can easily just make some slabs toss them right here and then now when i break this all the blazes are gonna fall and then i get to just wail on all of them and then all the blaze rods are now gonna go into the chest some people say that if you use vines on the walls right here that it helps prevent them from climbing but i feel like it's the opposite i feel like they do climb them i don't know but honestly this thing works pretty dang well honestly like I'm, i've barely been hitting this thing and i bet there's okay i know it's looking pretty good but now that i got blaze rods i'll have an infinite source to be able to cook things now yes more blazes more i forgot to put a slab on top of that actually all right and we got a little over a stack in this one and over a stack and a half on that one i mean considering where this blaze spawner is this thing is pretty good all right now i figured it's about time i get to cranking down on some of these achievements again because we actually have still quite a few and there's some really difficult ones too at that uh for example i have to bring a ghast into the overworld and that one can be a pain but first i'm gonna enchant a fishing rod with uh, Ah, one on breaking three. No, I just got lure sick. There we go. I'm breaking three. So that maybe I could be able to reel them in and not go through 500 different fishing rods, but we'll see. I do have to slay a skeleton. Was it 50 meters away? I mean, this has got to be 50 meters, right? Like this has to be. So let's just, uh, yeah, eat him. And boom, there it is. Easy, baby. And I figured for capturing this gas, the best place is definitely going to be in the soul sand valley all the way over here. Wait, do I not have, I don't have soul speed on my, hold on, wait. Now this, this is going to take priority during this project. Good thing I do have the piglin bartering station there we go best strategy always is to just build a really big portal go ahead and light it up bada bang bada boom now we just got to get our gas and then now all i gotta do is hook you into here please stop hitting it like a brick wall oh my god this has to be a meme i'm living in a simulation okay come on no don't shoot yourself Ooh, you gotta be joking you have to actually be joking with me oh got him through now let's go to the other side okay here we go this is it baby finally finally oh my gosh hey leave me alone that was a lot of work okay relax okay but now that that's finally out of the way oh my gosh and now just for a change of pace i figured that uh we'll get it oh my god pillagers hello uh you guys went through the wrong portal uh a little bit more of a relaxing achievement. Get Hubble space bubble teleportation. Uh, have a bubble. So I'm just going to fly really far away. Make another portal and go through it. On this adventure, I've actually finally found another fortress. This is the first fortress I've found in so long. And I've flown uh, so many places in the side of this nether. Oh man, this one would have been perfect for a blaze spawner too. Might revisit this actually. I'm not going to lie. Regardless, actually, this should be far enough to make another portal. So let's light it up. Hop in. Let's see if we get the achievement. And there it is and we're in a cave too actually hello uh very watery cave okay but obviously i'll take the faster route home so i'm gonna go right back through the nether all right now that we got a pretty laid back chill achievement out of the way i figured that uh yeah it's time to work on a furious cocktail <laughs> so i'm gonna be spending the next bit of time just brewing up tons and tons of potions All right, and at this point, I've pretty much gotten every single potion that I'm going to need for this uh, advancement. The only things that I don't have is I've never fought a phantom in this world, surprisingly. I, I guess I, I sleep well in, in game, but not, not IRL. But also, I have yet to fight a puffer fish. So we're going to go on a bit of an adventure to go get those last couple of things because I've pretty much gotten everything else. Oh, also, I got a crossbow with piercing too, which I'm going to need for another achievement later. Got on a bit of an adventure to go to the ocean and hopefully find a puffer fish and a along the way i mean i haven't slept in a couple of days so we should be a-okay oh hey i found a slime i completely forgot that you could be able to find slime in a uh, swamp biome so just go ahead and clap his cheeks i'm having such a hard time trying to find a warm ocean or a lukewarm ocean this is taking forever to find i guess along the way i'll just continue to slay things that i know i'm going to need for the achievement i don't know if i've clapped a uh, witch before so the deed is done <laughs> oh we found a mesa biome also I, I don't believe i've found this yet i've been out this far regardless boom mesa Survive. also rain just completely stopped also we got a tall birch forest what the heck dude we're finding all these biomes this is actually pretty sick i mean we all knew the seed was op but like come on now this is a very tall birch tree and you guys know how i 
feel about birch burn it to the ground get it all out of here i'm done with it um back to the task at hand oh my gosh we got a war motion here we go this is what i've been looking for because now i can clap me a puffer fish wherever one is hello where are you at puffer fish hello all right here we go i see a little buddy come on now. what's up dog yes what's up what's up dog? yeah you too oh yeah oh there's even more of them and all right we got plenty of puffer fish to be able to make our uh underwater breathing potion now the only thing i need is a membrane which i get from a phantom which phantoms only spawn at night time <laughs> so i guess in the meantime i'll just do a little bit of exploring try to find like more biomes and stuff like that that i haven't found already which i have 32 out of 42 oh now this has to be a biome i've not been to right the what is this the shattered savannah this thing just looks like it's on x games mode the mountains go higher than the clouds <laughs> well it turns out that i have been to one and uh that is not a new biome sick uh, uh huh. As it turns out, I've not landed on these icy boys. I think I have a lot of rockets because, dang, this is gonna be a long adventure. I have to go all the way home. Oh, look, I found Titanic. It's completely beached and everything. How you doing? Go right in here. This is actually like livable. Oh, hey, moss blocks. Nice. So this thing's literally livable. I can actually just make a base out of this. And just a ton of iron. Oh, it's pretty snazzy. And for some reason, I still have yet to get any phantoms on me. I'm, maybe it's because I've been flying around. Maybe it's made believe. I don't know. Maybe if I start walking around, they'll start coming after me. Also, maybe I could be able to get a notch apple out of this thing real quick. And we got a diamond. We got more diamonds. We got a gold ingot, golden apple, and uh, just some gold. All right. Aha. Now we got some snowy plains. I've yet to find snowy plains. This is a new biome for me. Also, one dope looking house sitting up on this mountain. Come on now, bro. I would honestly love to be able to go to sleep right now, but uh... oh, wait, there's a zombie raid going on. Hey, yo, relax, guys. Calm down. Oh my gosh. You guys are so strong. Wait, this actually a good thing because now i need to get him as well for a uh one of the hostile mobs to slay you can only find him in this biome i'm out here multitasking all these different achievements and stuff bro until phantom spawn i'm just gonna continue on this adventure and i'm I've, i'm literally thousands of blocks away from home this is gonna take forever to get home oh yeah there we go and now we also got an ice spikes biome i think this is supposed to be the rarest this or mushroom but either way i'm glad to get it out of the way i'm also still just patiently waiting for all the uh you know phantoms to spawn it's it's been, been quite a while since i've slept and now we're officially up to 38 out of 42 and i know one of them is the mushroom biome that i know for a fact and i'm pretty sure i'm missing that tall spruce forest right where it's like the the titan ti it's like the titan trees i'm missing that one as well but otherwise i have not the slightest idea of what it could be <laughs> regardless though i probably should start heading home ish at least so that i can be able to maybe find more biomes on the way home oh and here we go i think this is is the tall spruce right is that what this is these trees and then it's got the nasty floor the podsel let's see and okay apparently we've been here i have no idea what i need then other than a mushroom vibe <laughs> all right and it's officially nighttime yet again and i've yet to get any phantoms on me so far oh my gosh and i finally see home it's been so long since i've been home <laughs> now the only thing it, like i said is to get phantoms to spawn and then that'd be it i guess while i just wait for them to spawn the best place to wait would probably just be my uh gun powder farm right i feel like that'd just be best case scenario because if i wait there at least i mean i'll be staying up all night but i'll also be getting oh wait is this raid still going on oh my gosh maybe i finished this raid hold on i also don't think i've actually slain a ravager and that's definitely on the list because i've just been using a uh a raid farm the entire time oh my gosh my elytra is about to die too holy crap i need to be careful a ravager gotta be a little bit careful about it you know what i'm saying let me just stand on top of the is he climbing the tree is he climbing the tree right now okay i think i'm fine and ravager be gone thought that's just in case if i haven't personally slain one myself but otherwise i've definitely slain any other mob from a raid so i'll just afk the rest of this all right now that, that raid's done go grab all my totems just like so oh, my inventory's full still oh, uh a little awkward and now i'm gonna hang out at the gunpowder farm until uh some phantoms finally spawn for me so i can be able to get two other achievements that require them oh my gosh it's finally happening i finally have some phantoms on me this is Okay, now all I need to do is slay one or two to get some membranes. Come on now, guys. What's up? What's up with it? Trying to catch those fans. Oh my gosh, you guys are so annoying. Trying to use my looting. There we go. Mm. All right, we got one. And another one. 
Beautiful. Okay, we have four. Now I'm gonna try to get the achievement. I'm gonna try to get the achievement where uh, you slay two at once with a crossbow. That would be a lot easier if they would spawn over here at home. Because if I could manage to get them to spawn over here, it'd just be so much easier. But uh, yeah, the sun's about to come up anyways. So I think we just need to move on with our uh, potions. And these should officially be the last potions that I need to brew up so that I can finally get a furious cocktail and if it isn't i'm gonna cry and here we go underwater breathing and then also slow fall okay here we go this is it we grab every single one of these potions <laughs> oh my gosh it's nerve-wracking okay, and now we should be ready i got some effects from the beacons as well so we should be chilling let me throw every single one of these down real quick come on now uh-uh there it is baby a furious cocktail and i have no milk but we should be a-okay right oh my gosh i'm falling so <laughs> slow I'm flying all the way down into the basement and I'm going so slow. This is amazing. And here, real quick, I'm just going to get a little bit of milky milky so then I can get all these effects off my screen. Oh yeah, here we go. We already got, oh, it's only, it's exactly two. All right, sick. Let's just real quick do this sick strategy of getting them into a boat. Okay, now every time they dive me and into the boat, nice. And then you into the boat. Beautiful. And then now all I got to do is be very careful. And then now if I hit F3, B, I can open up hitboxes and actually see their hitboxes. So then I'm going to be able to hit them and not the... Oh, oh God, why is there so many? I'm going to first do a little bit of damage to them. I think it's the back one that I need to. And I hit the boat. <laughs> Hopefully this time I hit them. Let me... Boom. And then let me... I'm going to hit you. Oh my God. I don't know why it's so much harder to hit these. The guy in the front is the hardest one to hit. So here, what if I just YOLO it and try it? Ah, screw it. Ah, I knew it. Okay, we got some more phantoms. Come on, get in, the, get in the boat. There we go. Okay, I got two in the boat now. Here, just because I can, I'm going to weaken you, weaken you, and weaken you. Oh, okay, well, that one was pretty weak. I have those two trapped. One's hurt. The other one's not. Okay, I got this one in the boat. These guys are both hurting right now. Just get in the boat. So now, I have these two in the boat. So let's just... Ah, there we go. Perfect. There's the achievement. Finally. All right, now I figured one thing that I definitely need to do, especially for achievements later on, because I'm going to take a little bit of a... I see a wandering trader. Hey, how you doing? Um, but yeah, what I was going to say was that I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from achievements since it does seem like we got all like the really difficult ones. And then now all the other ones are just kind of time consuming except for this trident one all right buddy give me all your goods i'll take all your pink dye because i'm way too lazy to get pink flowers i'll take some melon seeds for the fun of it and yeah give me all your puffer fish no i'm just kidding no. <laughs> yeah before i was rudely interrupted by the uh wandering trader uh i have riptide on my uh trident and i don't want to you know get rid of it and then have to you know try to re-enchant when in reality i have a trident farm i might as well use it so i'm gonna quickly just afk up here build up a ton of drowns and then just go slap them down i think that's the wandering trader from when i was building this thing what are you selling gunpowder okay moving on all right after sitting around for most of the day let's hop in or actually i gotta go in through my portal all right let's hope none of the drowns despawned Ooh, i see some heads in there already okay we got some drown boys we got some drowny drowns i just need one triton guys just a one triton take one triton usually i have terrible luck with getting tritons but when we got my triton the first time it happened pretty fast which is surprising and so far no triton come on, i don't want copper oh no i don't want that either oh my gosh okay so now i actually have to go afk more all right i've afk'd for pretty much majority of the night if i don't have enough drowns in there to get me a triton i'm gonna be triggered this thing's just jam pack almost there keep chopping and there we go all right and we got ooh, oh dang dude that's actually a lot of durability hello i didn't know you can get them with that high of a durability is that supposed to be like really rare <laughs> this is the best conditioned one i've ever had clearly whatever drown was using this thing just never used it all i need to do though is enchant it and hopefully get channeling right no not riptide come on now get that <laughs> Channeling. Loyalty. Okay. Channeling. Impaling. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not today. Not today. Ah, oh, there it is. Channeling. Ooh, channeling loyalty and I'm breaking this thing. It just got sick nasty. I have two tritons. Yeah, yeet it into the void. Goodbye. There it is. <laughs> Fighter, I just got to test this out. Thank you. I need to make sure it works. Wait, don't run away from me. Still testing it. There we go. Zombie trying to break into my house? Not today. Not today. All right. And I figured the next thing on the agenda here is village, which I... Oh, we forgot all about the potato farm. By we, I mean all of us, right? 
right? Because you guys are also in this world. And it looks like a lot of villagers came up here to get work. Kind of ruins it. So here, let me try to get one of you guys up and out. I can't have him messing up the minecart. There we go. Beautiful. That's that's your new home. Well, I need actually I need this villager out, don't I? I'm like gonna get there we go. Okay, now you just need to oh no, no. All right, guys, we're just going to look away for a second. I don't care if they get mad at me. These aren't the villagers I'm worried about. <laughs> Regardless, though, potato farm's coming along. And all the last thing I need to do is grab a bunch of potatoes and plant them and also fill up that guy's inventory. So let's just real quick do that. All I got to do is plant all these taters and then give the last of the potatoes to this guy. Hopefully fill up his inventory. Next thing on the agenda is we're building out villager trading halls, much like this one. Figured over here would probably be a good spot to build the next one. So I got to tear down this house real quick make some room all right perfect and i'm i'm hoping this will be enough room i i hope <laughs> but before getting started on the trading hall i do want to go grab a couple of things that are going to go to it because this time around we're going to be building a librarian trading hall because well i i learned my lesson by losing my mending villager and i need to protect my villagers better and so by a couple of things though i want to grab a lot of bookshelves and the best place to get bookshelves is definitely in the stronghold i just have to find a library again i know i have found one in the past i just don't remember where it was okay yeah see so it was kind of cut off and there was a secret room okay Whew. yeah look at this door look at the door give me no oh, library okay what the heck happened to this library what happened in here i've not been in this library oh here lava okay yeah lava is what caused this there's i think there's lava right here okay that makes sense either way i should get plenty of bookshelves out of this i hope <laughs> All right, now we pretty much have all the resources that we're going to need. And so let's get to building. So I was uh, about to do a reveal for the house and then a, uh, a creeper got shot by a skeleton and the creeper wasn't too happy about it. So I, I need to fix the house. Hold on. <laughs> now it's officially time for the reveal. As you guys can see the outside going with my classic roof style. I think it's got the nice aesthetic. I do need to put glass in it now that I'm looking at it though. However, we move on on the inside. We got this giant tower of just knowledge guys knowledge but also i got the play pins for the villagers this is where they're going to be staying is in these corners of the house and this is where i'm pretty much just gonna be trading with them and uh you know making sure that they never escape and uh they love me forever because that's how villagers work they love me um at least they better because i'm providing jobs <laughs> it'll lure all my villagers in there now i think i only have two librarians so it's the middle of the day and they're all just mingling well, i guess while you guys are mingling might as well just be useful and start populating the village a bit all right and there we go now we got some villagers in here Ugh, come on get no, he's not gonna listen that guy's my mending guy this is my looting guy and then these are pretty much the only librarians i really have now left there we go okay i pushed him in now he's stuck too and he sells flame we'll probably change that eventually uh <laughs> we got a librarian house now guys comment down below what you guys want to see next for a, a trading hall i still think the fletching house is my favorite all right and today we're gonna finally begin an enderman farm for some reason you guys are commenting a lot that i should make an enderman farm which honestly i don't, I don't mind it it's pretty sick get a lot of uh ender balls so i will gladly build one but for that i'm gonna want to get a ton of leaves because honestly they look aesthetic but also because it prevents mob spawning all right mission accomplished we do have uh, a, a bit of leaves um all right and we should be all packed up with everything that we're gonna need for this farm so let's head all the way out to the end all right so the only scary part about doing this farm is the fact that you have to go all the way down to uh y level one which means that i'm gonna have to drop some water and then swim all the way down the water into the void base um so let's uh just not die today huh let's just do that start swimming really fast oh god that scared me i messed up the water flow and it's scaring me <laughs> i'm just gonna stop right here just in case i could go all the way up here and scoop up this water and now all i gotta do is build all the way out into the void very very far away I just got to build a platform for all the Endermen to spawn on. All right, now that that's out of the way, got to make sure Endermen aren't going to be spawning on this. <laughs> And I just got to start building out to the platform that I'm going to be standing on. Now I need to set up the collection system. And we got to grab our hoppers like so. And then now all I need to do is build up the platform for the little endermite that all the endermangs are going to want to slay. And then this is where the slightly tricky part comes in where I'm going to have to spawn an endermite. And I got to make sure I give him his name tag. And I need to make rails, which I don't have enough iron, but I also realized I forgot my ender balls. So I got to go get some. All right. And then... 
So here, let's set these down. Get the minecart ready. Get the name tag ready. Boom. Okay, what is this luck? I literally just went through almost two stacks of ender balls and I can't even get a single ender mite. What is my life? All right, let's give this another shot. Got to spawn an ender mite. Oop, there we go. And give him a name tag. And nope, 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 nope. Okay, I knew you were going to do that. Okay, well, I need to slay an ender mite anyways for the uh, achievement. <laughs> I gotta get another name tag. I hate this. I hate you. All right, this time I'm gonna be smart about this and build a little house around us so he can't escape next time. There we go. Okay, gotta give you a name tag and get you in the... Come on now, get in the cart. Oh, oh God, he's gonna kill me. This isn't how I lose this world. Oh no, I made a mistake. I made such a grave mistake. Oh no. Oh, they're, they're, they're mad at me now. Endermite's literally sitting right there and they're not mad. Oh, they can't get to it. That's what it is. They are mad at it. Okay, okay. I need a... Are you serious? Are you joking? Are you actually joking? right now okay all right fair play minecraft fair play all right this time around <laughs> i'm uh i'm building it with leaves so that i don't gotta worry about enderman spawning if i try to run away the fact that this endermite is giving me this much trouble this is my life all right three stacks of uh pearls apparently is not enough sick <laughs> yeah got a couple more stacks hopefully it won't take that long oh there we go there's my little mans right there go in the stupid cart you dumb there we go oh my god go on the other side holy ever told you guys i uh, hate endermites recently found out um and then now all i gotta do is break the block that he's sitting on come over here and break all these torches and then they're all gonna funnel in get angry see this under my and then try to clap him but they can't because they can't get to him because they're small brain and then as i fly away they should start spawning oh my gosh that's a lot dude oh my god and i need to get sweeping edge on this sword i actually don't have sweeping edge before i continue this enderman farm i need to get sweeping edge on my sword i need to get it like there's no other way it's worth the way wasting all the levels since honestly i'm just gonna get more levels anyways i feel like that makes sense oh man i just bought an expensive one for no reason oh and sweeping edge three there we go now we gotta upgrade our sword which i'm actually finding out that i only have sharpness three on my sword so i'm gonna go ahead and combine these two books and then throw those two books onto this sword and then now we're ready to go clap some endermangs Hey, leave me alone. I also, real quick, hold on. I want to despawn all the Endermen that are there currently flying really far away. I'm going to swoop back through and try to place down carpets before they start running around. If I could place these, there we go. All right, now we're in the clear. I'm going to just hit me some Endermen for a little while. Really get my use out of this farm. All right, it's been quite some time. I mean, I got a, probably a couple levels floating around me. Biggest problem with this, though, is that I have to keep emptying out the, the chests because I need way more storage for this. I filled up these chests probably like five times, six times each and it's just way too much so i definitely need to figure out some sort of storage solution which is kind of hard considering i'm like a block above the void so i can't really do like a staircase down chest system but uh i think i was like level like 25 or something like that so honestly in a day pretty good but for xp though i do have other uh better ideas for farms i'm gonna build later on i also need to start smelting down some more taters because i'm going through all my food it's time to get ready for the next project and the next project is gonna involve a lot of sand because i'm gonna do something that i never wanted to do again but first i'm gonna have to shovel lots and lots of sand all right and after a couple of days of shoveling uh my desert is definitely starting to look a little ugly i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty soon here i'm probably gonna start giving wadzi a good uh, run for his money on who has the ugliest desert because yeah this is just looking uh real nasty i have shulker boxes full of sand this is oh wow yeah i know that uh that's taking a hot minute to process isn't it i'm probably gonna have two chests worth of sand um yeah heal up my uh my shovel before i accidentally use it and break it and let's just get some free xp real quick all right now that all my tools are all healed up i figured i might as well just grab all the gold while i'm here and while i'm at it i might as well go empty out all the gunpowder and stuff like that out of the gunpowder farm because i mean yeah i afk'd out it earlier when i was trying to get some phantoms and i never emptied it out all right all right, how much we got up in here? Ooh, no, that's looking pretty snazzy. Oh, I can't actually even hold it all. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're um, strapped on space. Okay, we should be fine. There we go. Now, you might be thinking that I'm going to craft up tons and tons of uh, TNT with all this gunpowder and stuff, um, but not in this 100 days. I'm going to start racking up tons and tons of TNT, and we're going to do a giant TNT mine. All right, and for this next project, with all this sand, what I want to do is actually get started on an ocean monument. Now, I've drained out an ocean monument in 
the past and it was an insane amount of work i've actually done it twice now i'm about to do this again a lot of people want to see it and a lot of people have commented to do it so real quick i'm gonna buy an ocean explorer map but i need a compass all right Who, who's got a compass you got a compass no you don't got a compass and i'm gonna buy a map because i don't know if there is a ocean monument closer than the one that i know of because the one that i know of is actually kind of far and i don't want to deal with going all the way over there all right so let's buy this ocean explorer cost me one emerald it looks like it's an undiscovered area actually unless it's because the fact that i haven't discovered it with the map but i mean that would that would kind of suck uh-huh yeah now this is definitely not an ocean monument i've been to before hopefully it's good enough to be able to actually turn into a oh yeah oh it's shallow it already has like a bunch oh this is gonna be a good one because it's super shallow on like half of the ocean monuments so it's gonna be perfect i might actually be able to drain this in a reasonable time regardless i brought tons and tons of sand start off with though i need to go to the center and then ah, debating if i want to do a circle i don't know if i want to do a circle this time around i might just do a giant square all right i got the diameter all set up pretty much the only thing is is that uh i forgot i need to get rid of the elder guardians in this thing there's just no chance that i'm actually gonna sit here and work on this and continue to get miners fatigue all right let's get the one right here at the top first right here Ooh. oh that one was close i got a little close maybe i put on my chest plate so i could be like basically unkillable huh ow relax and you should die please there we go <laughs> all right let's get some air and let's go hunt down the other ones we found the gold room already i mean just because i mean i might, I might as well just get some gold because <laughs> why not give him the clapping real quick what am i stuck on hello <laughs> and there we go and the last one then here hold on let me get some air and the last one should be around this corner over here okay maybe i have no idea what i'm talking about i've went i've run around this whole thing already i think i'm about to go into full circle mode okay wait no i was right okay i know where i am ow as there's so many of you guys relax fish oh my gosh there's a lot of these guys come on stop running away that is a lot of fishy eyeballs oh my god and there we go i got the big one so now at least i could drink some miners fatigue and we should be good but while i'm in here of course i'm going to try to get the uh sponge room as well just need to find it oh my god i hate these stupid fish oh got a sponge room now all i need to do is figure out how to get out of this place without getting completely lost no shot there's another sponge room i've never had two sponge rooms is this really rare i've never had two of these dude this this world is pretty awesome <laughs> no chance there's a third, right? Huh? Hmm? Crazy if there would be. No, I'm just kidding. No, there's no chance. Okay, yeah, there isn't one. I think what I'm gonna do is just dig out. I feel like that's gonna end up being the easiest strategy is just dig straight out of here. Oh, there we go. See, perfect. And here, I'll even put the block back. After much thought, I've decided that I'm not gonna do the circle. Uh, I've done the circle for this ocean monument two times now, and it's so much work. It's so difficult. All right, now I have the entire thing outlined, and this thing is, I, it's just a beefy boy. This is gonna take so long long to fill up with sand my goal is to just completely outline the entire thing oh my god that's right and also i gotta get rid of all of this hold on gotta get rid of every single one of these all right and let the sanding begin <laughs> this is so ridiculous <sighs> All right, and I am now officially done with one wall. Yeah, no, I literally just one all the way down, though, all the way across. Wait, actually, I didn't get this one spot, so let me fill this in really fast. Yeah, this is going to be painful and infinitely more time consuming than I even anticipated. So I'm going to go all the way around this thing, and it's going to eat up basically the rest of this 100 days. But I'm doing this for you guys. So many people have requested me drain out an ocean monument in this world already. So it's going to happen. The worst part is I got to swim all the way through the bottom of this and break all the kelp and stuff like a little bottom feeder like i'm gonna get this grass all right ladies and gentlemen here we go this is taking so long so long but it's finally done i've completely encompassed the entire thing and honestly even though i'm a circle kind of guy i think the square looks kind of clean i'm not gonna lie but the entire thing is completely covered in sand all the way around so now the only thing that's left is i make rows all the way through and put sponges in draining every single piece of water however i cannot do that because it is day 500 and i need to get home before the sun goes down and yeah ah there's the beautiful home energy bows
that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this 100 days. And as always, if you did, make sure you guys smash that like button. Let me know that you guys want to see more of this world. We're continuing to just build super OP, awesome farms and just some crazy builds in general. And we accomplished a lot of things in this 100 days. Also, don't forget to comment down below what kind of animals that you guys want to see inside the zoo that already has a Ravager. And as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.